Hey everybody, welcome back. We've got a problem in the advanced pre-assessment practice. We've added another um, set of four problems in there. Uh, and this one is about even with the difficulty of the TAA. Um, so, altitude deltas. Please write a function that takes an array of integer altitudes along a hiking trail, as well as two indexes into that array. The two indexes represent the start and end of a segment in the array. We can assume that the array will only contain integers and that the two indexes will be valid, i.e. they will exist in the input array and will make sense compared to each other. Start is before end. Your function should return the, quote, sum of the changes for a walk within that segment, i.e. beginning at the start index and ending at the end index. Each integer in the array represents another height on the trail, so walking will mean accumulating each change in height into a sum of the changes. Note that increases in height count double. Okay, here are some examples of your code running. Assuming you have successfully created the described function, please be sure to name the function some altitude deltas. Uh, for those of you who don't know what let is, um, it's var, but it'll give you the ability to create a local variable inside of a for loop. Um, there's more on that in the following bonus prep modules that you can access either from the beginning of this, uh, this course or the end. But for now, um, let is the way of the future, so you know, let there be let, as it were. Anyway, we're not going to take this over to REPL, we're going to go right into coding. Sorry, not right into coding, but right into the you know, little input box. Uh, so function they want to become so, be called some altitude deltas. Now, uh, that's a great time for a copy and paste. It says it's going to take in an array of integers that represent heights. So heights is the name I'm going to give it, and then start and end. And the first thing I'm going to do is, it looks like the result of this is going to be a sum and it's not likely to be one of these inputs. So if that's the case, we'll say create a result sum. At the end, we're going to, I'm going to make this a little bigger, return sum. I would say that what we need to do is start at whatever the start index is, move to the next one, go from six to seven, there's a change of two, so we have a total of, sorry, a change of one, but it's an increase, going from six up to seven. So we count the change here of one double, meaning that our change is now equal to two. We then walk from seven to two, and the change is five, and it looks like we're talking about deltas, and for those of you who have not come across this before, a change is almost universally not described uh, as having like a, a, a direction. It's more of like a magnitude. Uh, so when we say the change is going down by five, we can still consider that to be a ch total change of five. So we end up adding seven to five. Um, if that explanation doesn't really make sense, we can always go with the one where we don't want you to subtract uh, the numbers. We want you to add them or add double versions of them, something like that. Anyway, once we get to two and we've added the change from seven to two, which is five to our total, we get seven and we realize that four is actually the end of that segment. So for this walk, the change or the sum of the altitude deltas, given the constraints of the problem, is seven. So if that's the case, it looks like we iterated over this array from the start to the end. So I'm gonna go there, iterate from start to end. Now I'm going to uh, set current diff to be next minus current. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because if I take the next value and I subtract it from the current value, which would be seven minus six, I'm going to get a positive number in the event that the change is positive and a negative number in the event that the change is negative, which makes it rather simple to work out the next part portion of the pseudocode. It's just going to be if diff is positive, then double diff and add to sum. Otherwise, and this one is a little bit, there's a couple different ways to do this. We could use the absolute value, uh, you know, math.abs. Uh, the problem with that is that you might not remember that. But what you could remember is that if we have a negative number and we want to add it, we can subtract that negative number and get the same result. So I'm going to say subtract diff from sum, which will essentially add a positive version of that diff to the sum. Okay, and then sum equal to sum. Okay, cool. So we're going to use let again because it's a good habit to get into. Let sum equal zero, uh, return sum. Uh, let is a good habit to get into, but it's also a very, very easy habit to get into. So if you still feel like using var, you're not really going to be in any trouble. For let i equal, and if we want to go from the beginning of an array to the end of the array, we start at zero and we 
get, say i is less than the array dot length. In this case, we don't want to go from the beginning to the end of the array. We're going to want to go from start to end. So if we say let i equal start and i is less than end, that's actually going to get us very close to the correct answer. In fact, that is going to be the correct answer. Um, set current diff, so we'll say let diff equal, and next minus current is going to be next is simply heights at i plus 1, and that's going to be minus heights at i. If diff is greater than 0, and let's make sure that we can wrap this around nicely. We did. Double diff and add to the sum. So sum plus equals. And since sum is accumulating the values, we want to say sum plus equals. This is going to essentially say sum is equal to whatever sum was plus whatever value we input where my cursor is. But at this point, you're probably well versed in that. I don't know if I have to wrap these in a uh, parentheses. I mean, I do. But let's just say that I don't. Um, if I don't, it never hurts to add in parentheses for a mathematical operation just to ensure it's doing exactly what you think it is. Um, also, that's a decent place to start for debugging uh, is if you don't have parentheses around something that you assume is being grouped together. So uh, subtract diff from sum, sum minus equals diff, and then we return the sum. So I would suggest that this problem is now complete. It's called the right name, we're creating a sum, iterating, Checking a diff. If the diff is positive, we double and add to the sum. If the diff is not, then we subtract it from the sum, and which is going to end up adding it. So we'll go ahead and run our tests. Excellent work. So that's it for this problem. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.